1910, Dr. Crippen. Dr. Crippen murdered his wife, Bella Elmore, and he buried her in the basement of 39 Hildrop Crescent. That's the shovel he used to dig up the basement, and it's pretty certain it was the same shovel used by the Metropolitan Police some months later when they dug it all up again. He killed his wife because he'd been having an affair with his typist, Ethel Lenave. Crippen at 39 Hildrop Crescent, Camden Town, murdered his wife, and then he left with his mistress Ethel and Nave, and went over to Belgium, where he caught a boat over to Canada. A Captain Kendall on the SS Montrose was rather suspicious of uh, a man and his son, apparently. Being suspicious of them, he sent a telegram back to London. Now, what is interesting about this case is this is the first crime solved using wireless telegraph. Have strong suspicion that Crippin, London cellar murderer and accomplice are among saloon passengers. Moustache taken off, growing beard, accomplice dressed as boy. Voice, manner and build undoubtedly a girl, both travelling as Mr and Master Robinson. Chief Inspector Jew caught a faster packet and he went over to Canada and intercepted the boat off Father Point. And Crippen and Ethel and Nave were brought back to this country to stand trial. They went into 39 Hilldrop Crescent and dug up the basement and took out what was left of Mrs. Crippen. some flesh samples with scar tissue on them. They found some hair, but they also found a pyjama jacket. And it was that pyjama jacket that convicted Crippen. On the fourth day of the trial, Crippen was asked whether he'd purchased any pyjamas from Jones Brothers at Holloway. He said he had. He was asked when. He said 1905. The next witness went into the box and said Jones Brothers Holloway as on the tiny little label on the pyjama jacket, had become a limited company in 1906, proving, proving that Crippen was lying. At the end of the day, it was the pyjama jacket that convicted Crippen. Ethel and Nave, after Crippen had been found guilty, Ethel and Nave stood trial. The case lasted one day and she was released. <laughs> 